Four must-have studio essentials for under $100. I'm often asked, what are the must-haves for my photo studio and I'm on a budget? Well, by the end of this video, you're gonna know the four things that are gonna make the biggest difference in your studio, I promise, and you can get them all for under 100 bucks. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I'm a professional photographer in Silicon Valley, California. And believe it or not, I did not always make money with my camera. In the beginning, I had very little money at all. I was still waiting tables while I figured out how the heck to build and run a business because I didn't go to school for any of this. I am totally self-taught and I could afford one lens, I had a Sigma 50 millimeter prime, I had one softbox for my light and only one battery for it. So I had a couple lights, but I could only plug in one at a time because this was like before all of our flashes were easy and cheap and had batteries. So I had to get really good with very little. And thankfully I'm craftier than I was profitable at the time because it allowed me to figure out how to make a lot with not a lot. And I'm gonna share that with you today. All right, so the four things that everyone needs in their studio under a hundred bucks. Number one, fabric and safety pins. Number two, tape and clamps. Number three, music. And number four, refreshments. Please don't check out thinking that this list is all you need in this video because I'm gonna give you some more that you might not have thought of on your own. Okay, firstly, fabric and safety pins. This little guy right here has made me so much money, so much money. And it's just two yards of, of plain cloth that has like a velvety front. I got it in purple also. And what's cool about fabric is you can make it into clothes. So we've taken this and like pinned it strategically, hence the safety pins. And we've made dresses, we've made skirts. I've also had my clients lay down on the ground and we strategically draped the fabric over them. Um, we can do this pose. Or this one. Or this one all with this piece of fabric. So if your client doesn't have really cool evening gowns, you don't have a big client closet in your studio, no problem. You can buy fabric two to three yards at a time and get it in the, the discount section. So I go to the fabric store, I look at all of the like discontinued stuff. They might only have a little bit left and it's you know 50 to 75% off. And for, I don't know, like eight bucks or whatever, I can get a couple yards of that. I can create a dress on somebody. And now they've just bought an $800 piece of wall art from the $8 piece of fabric. That's a pretty good return on investment right there. Number two, tape and clamps. These little guys are magic. You're gonna need different kinds of tape. This is Gorilla Tape. This is some sticky, sticky shit right here. This is what holds my backdrops up to the rollers on the wall behind me. Um, this really heavy canvas that I get from Intuition, beautiful fabric. You can't use masking tape or even duct tape to hold it up there, it won't hold. This stuff, amazing. However, it is real, real sticky, so you're also gonna wanna get some gaff tape. Gaff tape is like duct tape in strength, but you can peel it off easily and it doesn't leave a residue, which is incredible. Because if you're taping down backgrounds, if you're taping up reflectors or gobos or whatever, you don't wanna leave sticky tape residue on any of that. So I've got a blog post on boudoirguild.com where I'm gonna link all of these items in there so you can just go be like, oh cool, I'm just gonna turn this into my shopping list and go pick them up. Make it super easy for you. So the different kinds of tape that you'll need and where to find them. Also, clamps. These guys have saved me so many times in so many ways. It's called an A clamp or an alligator clamp because look, it's a capital A. And they're they are heavy. Like you could also use them for a good forearm workout, you know, bonus usage for this tool. And they make smaller ones that are about half the size. I recommend getting both. These guys are only a few bucks. The smaller ones are like $1.50, $2. Very inexpensive. Make sure you get the ones with the, the latex rubber stuff on the ends because it's just a hard metal edge and you don't want to damage the things you're clamping. So what do we use these for? Well, uh, if I have a reflector that I want to attach to a light stand in front of my client, instead of me holding the reflector out, I can just clip a reflector to a light stand and it's going to stay and it's not taping the thing up there. The other thing I use these for is making clothes fit better. So this shirt is already fitted, but if I want, you know, if my client has a dress that's too big, we can pull the dress back and then pinch the fabric just like this. 
holds the fabric together and it keeps it looking slim and trim, right? So that is probably the most common way that I use this, which is why I also recommend getting the smaller ones because these are real heavy duty and, you know, I don't want to crease or potentially damage the back of anyone's clothing. Uh, it shouldn't, but some fabrics are more delicate than others. The smaller clamps are going to be way softer on the clothes. There are also times when I've had to use one of these to hold my light stand up on a staircase. I don't often shoot on stairs, but when I do... Uh, I can just use my light stand and clamp it to the banister or one of the rails and hold it in place. So if you don't have stairs, don't worry about it. But I had to do that once at a fashion show. Now you can do the same. Number three, music. No Bose did not sponsor me, but sure be swell if they did. I got this little guy because I play music in my studio and it's a Bluetooth speaker. You can get them anywhere. I got these at Target. You can get them on Amazon, anywhere. Bluetooth speakers are amazing because they sound really good and you don't have to plug anything into them. So I put it in my studio. When my client comes in, they get to pick the music. So if they already have a playlist on their phone, they can just connect here via Bluetooth and I usually do it for them and they can play whatever playlist they want. Or I have my own phone connected to it already and I can just set up Pandora Station, Spotify playlist, whatever I wanna do to get music in the studio because it just, it totally changes the atmosphere, the vibe of the photo shoot when you have music playing. I don't pick the music. I let my clients pick the music when they come in. And that automatically makes it a better experience for them because they can listen to music that hypes them up, that makes them feel comfortable, that gets them into whatever mindset they want to get into. And those moments when we're not actively talking during hair and makeup or during the shoot, we have music going on. It doesn't just feel like awkward silence. Number four, refreshments. Mm. Well, no, I don't serve whiskey in my studio to my clients. I do occasionally enjoy some while I make these videos, but I do offer bottled water, bubbly water, and Prosecco for my clients when they do come in. This makes a world of difference, just like music. Well, it doesn't make your lighting any better. It may not be a cool prop like the fabric as you can, like, you can't see what I'm pointing to, but just take my word for it. Instead, it affects your clients here and here, and that is the magic we are capturing in our photography. So my clients come in, we hang their clothes up on the rack, and I offer them a beverage, whether it's a glass of Prosecco, bubbly water, or regular water. Not everyone drinks, so I wanna make sure I have non-alcoholic options. Also, let's say they've already got through their first glass of Prosecco during hair and makeup. I'm not gonna continue pouring them glasses of wine. It's a one and done thing. It's really just, it's a special occasion. That's why we're having a glass of bubbles uh, and not everyone wants it. So bubbly water and regular water. I keep some in the fridge. I keep some out on the counter because not everyone wants cold. Sometimes room temp is better. Uh, and I don't serve sodas. I do, I pick the Target brand uh, flavored bubbly water, not the sweetened ones. These are unsweetened, zero calorie, no artificial stuff in there. Uh, I honestly don't know how they do it, but it's magic flavored bubbly waters. And I've tested like six different kinds. I think there's about a dozen of them. I found ones that my clients love and that my stylists like also. Those are the ones that I keep stocked here. They're only a few bucks for a 12 pack. It's a no brainer. And you're like, that's cool. I don't wanna buy bottles of champagne to keep in my studio. I buy splits. It's a single glass in a little bottle. They cost about six bucks a piece. And I buy them a few at a time. Some grocery stores or liquor stores will offer case discounts. Now, because these aren't full size bottles, Maybe you're buying 24 of them to save 10 or 20%. Uh, either way, it's still a deal because, you know, at one, a client, you're going to blow through those in a month or so, provided you're booking that many shoots. But it just, it makes a big difference when you have an element of hospitality in your client experience. They're not just walking and taking their clothes off and expected to like immediately be good in front of a camera. So I've got the music to set the mood already, whatever they're feeling. Uh, and we have a beverage for them to stay hydrated. And, you know, sometimes during the shoot, they just want to step aside and have a quick water break. This is a way for them to do that without feeling like, uh, can I just go stand over there and breathe for a second? It allows everything to flow more smoothly and allows them to feel more taken care of. And cheers to that. So those are my four things that you need to have in your photo studio, whether it's a home studio or a big commercial space for under a hundred bucks. 
Number one, get fabric and safety pins. And for the safety pins, get the variety pack. Don't just get one kind. Sometimes the big ones aren't great. Sometimes the little ones aren't great. Sometimes you need a little of everything. So you can get a variety pack for like a dollar. Again, that's linked in the blog post. Number two, clamps and tape. Again, get the variety of each ones, throw everything into one little Rubbermaid bin and you're golden. Number three, music. Because it just makes it better for everyone, really. And number four, beverages. Probably not whiskey, but you can enjoy that in your time off. Like, this is my time off. Totally not working right now. And bonus tip number five, if you subscribe to this channel, you will instantly become a better photographer. Or so I hear. It sure can't hurt because you're going to learn amazing fun facts like points one through four in this video. So there you go. That is how to really beef up your studio experience without spending a ton of money. Uh, I've got other great videos on this channel for you, including one about how to make a safe and comfortable environment for your clients. The video is titled How to Become a Male Boudoir Photographer, but really this is for everyone who wants to create a safe, comfortable environment for their clients to feel vulnerable in front of the camera and allow you to take amazing photos of them. I've also got a great Facebook group that you can jump into and meet other photographers like yourself and ask questions, share experiences, and just, again, learn and be a better photographer. So I got that linked down below as well. You are amazing. See you inside.